Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. We are here. We are live. And we are checking out the PlayStation 5. <laughs> bars, boy. You like that? Unintentional bars. All right. We got PlayStation logo. And we are diving in. So we had to do a little bit of a uh, skipping because I had to turn off the HDCP setting. So if you're not aware what that is, um, it kind of like prevents you from uh, using capture cards with your hardware. So um, kind of like the initial setup, we kind of skip, but for the most part, uh, we are jumping in right where we need to jump in. So uh, let's go ahead and turn on this DualSense controller. Plus, plus, <laughs> press, plus, can't talk at all. Press the PlayStation button on your controller. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. I know uh, you know I already created my profile. Big, I, sh I, sh I should name myself Big Loomy. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah. Just uh, that's just how I'm feeling. Big Loomy out this motherfucker. All right, so right now we are just looking at the default everything. So this is just like I guess you can call it. Uh, I don't know what they call this. It's not a dashboard, but it just, this is just your like your your home screen for your PlayStation Five, I suppose. So. If you haven't checked out the Xbox One video, go ahead and do that. You'll see that in the, I guess, uh, card section and the end screen. But similarly, we're going to jump straight into the settings mode just to see what's what and uh, everything we need to know. So you got the, so you got your user's guide, you got your health and safety, you got your legal information, accessibility for people who need it, you got your invert colors, color correction, text size, bold text, high contrast, auto, scroll speed, reduced motion, Screen reader, so you know if you want to hear that real quick. Speech speed, voice type, Fe enable screen reader. So that's there for you if you need. Then uh, you also got your controller. Okay, YouTube finally replied to me. Custom button assignments. This doesn't work with some controllers. So similarly to the Xbox One, it looks like you can actually custom control or custom consign uh, custom assigned buttons so if you want your x to be square you can do that or if you want your triangle to be you know l3 you can do that i think that's kind of cool but you know I'm, I'm cool with the basic thing so i guess for people who just you know for whatever reason they want to do that you could do that uh vibration intensity strong standard weak medium that's actually pretty cool because i'm I had a friend who, uh, I guess my ex-girlfriend, she didn't really like the vibration on the controller. It would like make her kind of like sick in a sense. So maybe instead of turning it all the way off, maybe we could just reduce it. So the fact that they give you those options, that's pretty cool. Find your uh, liking. Trigger effect intensity. So this is something new that's actually, I guess, the only like really next gen feature you can really say like that's something like oh this is innovative technology so with the dual sense controller the triggers get harder to pull or i guess press down depending on how the developers develop <laughs> it to be used so trigger effect intensity right now is strong standard medium weak off when you're using the microphone your controller the intensity is set to weak if you're using it what does this have to do with the microphone Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Press and hold delay. Press and hold delay for the button and the create button. Um, you know, I guess you know if you need that. Close caption. Display closed caption. That's a tongue twister right there. Uh, oops, doing a little too many users and accounts. Of course, this is where you can do your sign in, your privacy data you provide. I chose to do limited. You can do full if you want. It's kind of crazy how you can't do none. Like you just you have to share whatever share only data necessary like what is necessary what does that even mean but um you know that's just that's just if you're just like a nitpicker like me link with other services log on settings log into ps5 automatically yes please user management is just me but that's where you can add your users and right, now we got family and parental controls so ps5 console restrictions what can you do enter your console restriction passcode the default is zero 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 um I guess it's zero 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 because we didn't set one. All right, so user creation and guest login prevent people from creating users. You know, I guess if you want to do that, um, just I guess if you have a lot of guests in your house, but it's not something I really have to worry about. Or even I guess if you got like kids, 
for new users, temporarily disable PS5, change your console restriction passcode, yeah. Not something I really have been worried about. Family management. Okay, we're gonna update the console later to figure out what that's about. Matter of fact, we should just do that right now. Let's just do that right now, because um it's kind of pointless to be walking through any of this without doing the update. So, system software, update and settings, update available, update using the internet or USB drive. I guess if you, you know, have issues downloading it or spotty internet connections, you can place it on a USB drive. Let's say if you want to download it at a school or a library and bring it back home. But we're going to update it with the internet. Matter of fact, dang, I should have hit view details to see what it entailed, but uh, now it's just going to do what it does. And we are back loading up, added to downloads. So I guess uh, initially, I guess that was just the day one patch that everybody needs to do, of course, day one. So let's turn on our controller again. Here's what you missed. A new version of the wireless controller device software is available. Your console will need to start. Okay, so you can actually update your controller similarly to Xbox One. I can't remember if we could do this on PlayStation 4, but, um, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Updating wireless controller device software. Don't turn off your PS5 or unplug your USB controller from the controller. Go. Cool. It's pretty amazing how controllers have updates now, too. Okay, let's see. Controller updated. And uh, I guess let's jump back into settings. Let's just jump sh fresh. So accessibility, oh, I guess now we got network. This wasn't here before. So wired, that's what we are right now. Internet connection is connected. PlayStation Network signed out. Uh, let's see what this connection status says. If it's private, I'm just gonna do a skip and you won't even know I clicked on it. Definitely private, but I'll tell you what's inside of it. Basically, everything you need to know for your networking. So that's your IP address, your MAC address, your serial number, and everything that I guess trouble or tech support might need, or even yourself may need if you want to, you know, figure out some issues with your multiplayer connection. View PlayStation Network status. Okay, so this actually opens up a web browser to let you know that everything is all good to go. And if it's not, this is where you would go to trying to figure out, hmm, I can't join my friends or I can't join the game. Let me try to check the PSN service status just to make sure everything is green. If it's not, then that lets you know you don't have to do any more troubleshooting. It's not on your side. Test internet connection. Let's see how fast this baby is. Obtain IP address, internet connection. Oh, that's not what this is. I had it on the last. I don't know if they took it out. Let's see. Yeah, I guess they they took out the connection speed. That's that's interesting. I don't know why. I definitely would like to know that my PlayStation is getting the speed it's supposed to. But that's that's something you know, either here nor there. Let's go ahead and sign into my PlayStation account. Hmm. You can also use the PlayStation. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's talking about. Let's use that PlayStation app, make this easy. Ready, set, play, buy, download, and install games to your console so they are ready when you are. Matter of fact, let me record this so y'all see it too. So that's what we're gonna do. Do not disturb on my phone. Screen record on. And let's get it with the PlayStation app. All right, ready, set, play. Buy, download, and install games to your console so they are ready to go when you are. Uh, let's see, next. Keep the conversation going. Message and voice chat with friends across PlayStation 4, 5, and PlayStation app. So that's kind of new. That's kind of neat. Something I did like about the Xbox app, <laughs> excuse me, is that uh, I could chat directly from the mobile app with my phone. So even if I didn't have a headset for the Xbox, I could just use like my AirPods or just use my phone, speakerphone, and chat with my friends while they were chatting on the Xbox or PlayStation, um, I'm sorry, or on uh, PC. So you can do it similarly here. PS4, PS5, and PlayStation app party chats can all chat together. Don't miss a thing. Follow news and announcements from your favorite games. Okay, let's hit next again. Link your console. Your PlayStation app is 
link to a console you signed into. Uh, let's select console. Yeah, these are not the consoles I want to use. So we're going to... Oh, I guess I have to. I just said I can change it any time. So let's go ahead and just... I'm going to do my... Do my PS4 right there. The music's just going to change that. Enable notifications on your phone, of course. Um, it depends on you. If you want your phone to be going off, depending on how busy you are or the type of things you get. You may not want to do that if it's just one a whole bunch of notifications on your phone. So uh, let's do okay, maybe later. Success, you are ready to go and set up. Now that's just getting, oh, this app looks nice. Okay, I see they updated. They updated the UI. Yo, the last PlayStation app, it's kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but this this looks nice. So, um, right, let's see. Open the app and go to settings. That's what we just did. Top right. And then sign into PS5. Okay, there we go. Sign into PS5. Enable camera access. Yes. And we're going to scan. Oh, just like that. Good to go. Oh, dang. Just like that. Oh, shit. Just like that. Sign into PlayStation Network. That's me right there. We're going to hit OK. That was pretty dope. I like that. That was easy. I like that a lot. We're going to take a look at this app a little later, too. So I definitely want to see everything we can do in this app. That's pretty cool. I can't link my console just yet. We'll come back to the app. So let me go ahead and stop the screen record right there. And now we're back to the PlayStation 5. So you'll stay signed into the PlayStation Network on this PS5 unless you sign up from settings. Sounds good to me. You already have another PlayStation 5 console sharing the offline play enabled. Do you want to enable console sharing on this PS5? If you do, we'll be able to play your games. We'll be able to the consoles offline. I think I do. Me and my man, PS360, we be sharing. So, you know, that's a little trick, trick, wink, wink. All right, cool. So, I guess that works. I'll just need his account as well. Let me let me find out. I forgot I got to import all my other accounts, too. Like, you know, the international ones. But I'll do that later in my own private time. All right, so now we are here. Back to the settings. Let me make sure everything's cool. All right, cool. So, users and accounts. Of course, you got my picture now. Everything's signed in, linked. Sign in ID, that's your email address if you want to change it. Security, profile, edit your public display profile. You can change your name if you want. Um, you know, online ID. Oh, oh, I can change my name. All PS5 titles are expected to support the online ID change feature. Not all games and apps for PS4. I kind of always have been wanting to change my name. I wonder if now is a good time. Your first change is free. You'll be charged for subsequent sub subsequent changes. Subsequent <laughs> subsequent changes. All right, that's cool. That's cool. But I'm not gonna do it right now. Profile picture. Yes, sir. It's nice. Avatar. Nice little free avatars you got. I wonder if everything that I've unlocked since PlayStation 4, or this is just I don't know what comes on the PS5. Cover image. Yeah, you know, <laughs> look how dope that is. That's me. Shout out to my man, Sean Williams, for, for designing that. Uh, let's see, the avatar, we did that cover image about languages. Uh, languages you speak. I guess, you know, you just want to tell the world what you do. Uh, payment and subscriptions. Let me make sure there's nothing private in here that I need to uh, blur out. Payment methods, redeem codes. Okay, so this is where you can redeem codes, kind of more simpler. Okay, instead of going all the way into the uh, PlayStation Store, I guess you could do it right from the settings now. Transaction history, purchase settings, add funds, subscriptions, game and app services. Cool. Got your privacy. Data you provide. Okay, we already took a look at that. Voice data collection. Don't allow what to improve voice feature. 
How is this allowed by default? They on some weird shit, yeah. <laughs> they are on some weird ish. That's you think that's something they would ask you. Um Oh, link with other services. Got my Twitter linked already. Oh, you can direct link directly to YouTube. I guess if you want to upload clips. I guess uh then I gotta like sign in and whatnot. Do I feel like doing that? Will I showcase to YouTube? Eh, nah, it's kinda pointless. I'll do that in my own time. Um, cool. Other console sharing and offline play. We already enabled that. Restore licenses for downloaded content you can't use. If you've been able, blah blah blah. Travis on the license. We'll check that out. I guess if for some reason that's troubleshooting note to note. I guess you see right there. If you become unable to use content, you download it from a PlayStation store. It might be a problem with the license for the content. Travis store and licenses. And uh yeah, that's good to know. In case we ever do have that issue. And of course you got your sign out button right there. Log in automatically. Users, that's me again. And that's users and accounts. Family and parental controls. Pretty much already took a look at that. System. Console information. Software update. This is where you go to automatically or at least manually update your system if you need and adjust the settings for that. Report system software errors automatically. Uh, no. <laughs> Error history. Okay. It's interesting that it looks at sign outs as errors. Data transfer. Transfer data from your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation 5. You can transfer only data, your own data. You can't try other users' data. Remove the PS4. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I still got my PS4 plugged in. It's not connected to the network. So let's see uh, let's see what we need to do to make this work. I'm definitely interested in that. When they continue, make sure your PS4 is turned on and both your PS4 and PS5 connect to the same network. Use a wired LAN connection. All right. Um, yeah, let's go use a wired connection. And I'm going to turn on PS4 real quick. Hold on. All right. PlayStation 4 is turned on. It is connected to the wired. <laughs> I was about to say wireless, but we don't want to do that because that might literally take a while. So we both got uh, we got both systems turned on, connected to the network. I'm just waiting on the PlayStation 4 to actually reach the main menu. Once I see that, then we will hit continue. Cool, looks like we good. So let's hit continue. Searching for your PS4. Mm. PS4 found. Within the time limit, press the power button on your PS4 for one second until it beeps. Okay, cool, let's do this. Press the power button on your PS4 for one second until it beeps. One second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they probably should have said hold because I'm like, I definitely pressed it, but. Because you can't really press for a second. You can probably press for like a millisecond or milliseconds. Go ahead and get this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications by clicking that bell notification icon. And uh, make sure you hit all. I'm interested to see how this works because we couldn't get this to work on the Xbox. I don't know why. It could recognize both systems on the network, but for some reason when it came time to uh, actually transfer, it just always failed. So uh, let's see how this works. On the PlayStation 4, the screen says transfer data to another console, preparing for transfer. Do not turn off your PS4 or disconnect any cables after preparation is complete. The PS4 will automatically restart. All right, so let's go back to the PS5 and cool. Looks like we got some progress. Let's see what the hell 
Select the save data you want to transfer to your PS5. Okay, so instead of just uh downloading data, we're just gonna transfer it. Am I gonna play these games though? Or am I like I'm just taking up space? Yeah, let's 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 do one by one. That actually makes sense because there's no point in transferring all of this. A lot of these games are not gonna play. Need for Speed Rivals. Do I still have that? I think so. Okay. Hmm. Might look at this Assassin's Creed again. Damn, that was a good game right there. That made some Spider-Man. Watch Dogs, just in case. You know, we got Watch Dogs 2 and 3. I don't know why they took that game down. That was good. That was a good game. The Order, damn, I ain't played that in a minute. I'm going to see how that is on this game. That was actually pretty interesting. God of War 3 Remastered, why not? Interested to see what that looks like. Prototype 1 and 2. Interested to see what that looks like. The Nathan Drake Collection. Interested to see what that might look like. Just cause 3. Is that 4? I think 4 is out. Yeah, I don't need that right now. Grand Theft Auto 4. Definitely need that. I said 4 or 5. Definitely need that. Hitman, we're gonna get into that soon. Need that. And try to four. Might need that. Hmm. Watch Dogs 2. I might see what Horizon looks like upgraded so we can possibly download that. I never finished that, so definitely wanna download that. What else we got in here? God of War. We need that. And I started that again. Everybody loves Shock Fool Fighting. Spider Man. Oh, I can't wait to get back into that. That one's going to be interesting for sure. YouTube. Don't need to sign in with my thing again. Uh, possibly. Need for Speed Heat. Oh, so that's the one I got. So I don't need Rivals then. I'll go back up there and just see like Rivals. Hmm. The Last of Us. Ghost of Tsushima. For sure we need that. Nah, I don't have that game no more. NBA 2K21 for sure. Hitman 2. There we go. Watch Dogs Legion. That's recent. Recent. That's recent. Yeah, where is that? Yeah, we don't need that. All right, cool. So let's see next. 1.5 gigabytes. Oh, we can actually transfer the games too. I'm not going to do that just yet. So I want to see what happens when we put the disc in and actually upgrade a PS4 game to a PS5. So that's going to be interesting. Spotify being takeover. Uh, NBA 2K20. Um, we're on 2K21 now. I don't really need that. Ghost of Tsushima. I'm going to put the disc in for that one too just to see how that works. Grand Theft Auto. We can hit, copy that over. Hitman we can copy over. You can't use this PS4 gamer app. Oh, I guess they better have a Netflix version. <laughs> Don't know what the hell they talking about. Um, so these are the two discs I do have. Ghost of Tsushima. By the way, I do have the disc version of the PlayStation 5. And Wild Sox Legion. So we're going to see how that works. I know this one is a free upgrade. This one is just actually just a... Uh, yeah, we can... This is backwards compatibility. Compatibility. So we're going to um, we're gonna see what that looks like for both. Just to see how that works. Say so next... Estimated time, one minute. Oh, they're mighty confident. Let's see. It's going to be quick. Mm, three, oh, 5% already. All right, we're back. Controller back on. And that was a nice little transfer. Check that out. That was pretty quick, too. That wasn't bad at all. Uh, let's get back into the settings, and then we'll check out the game library. I, I kind of like, ooh. Is it automatically upgraded? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. 
We did have 2K21 on the PlayStation, so we're going to find out how that works. Uh, system, we did that. This is the backup and restore. Backup your PS5, games, apps, and data consoles to USB drive, you know, in case you ever want to be safe and uh, sure. You can restore using the backup, and you can delete backup data. Reset options. So I guess a clear learning dictionary, restore default settings, and reset your console completely. Uh, HDMI, this is the HCCP setting that I was talking about before. HDMI device link, language, console settings, input language, date and time. Time zone, adjust daylight savings automatically, date format, time format, remote play. Enable remote play, hell yeah. Link device. Start the remote play app on the computer, mobile device, PS5, PS4, you want to link, and enter the following number. Uh, let's try this out right now. We're going to do that again from the phone. And I'll see how this works. So we're going to start up the PlayStation app. And... Let's see, remote play. So that's news. This is the home page. Game library. It's search. That's your friends. That is like what we need. We need settings. So let's see. Push notifications, messages, voice chat. Link console to app. Okay, this is, I think this is me right here now. It's gotta be. Yeah, so let's go ahead and select that console. We're gonna link that console to this app. These are account settings. I don't see anything about remote play. Maybe this is an entirely different app. PS blog, store, purchase. Yeah, I'm guessing this is an entirely different app because I don't want to see anything. So uh, maybe we'll come back to that. Try to figure out what that's about. Connection hero. I say hero history. Power saving mode, set time until PS5 enters rest mode, four hours, one hours for a game. I say two, you never know, I might just step away maybe. Well, if I stepped away for an hour, you can definitely turn off. Media, yeah, that's good right there. Features available in rest mode. So what can happen in rest mode? Supply power to USB ports. Um, I guess if you wanna charge up your controller. Stay connected to the internet. That way you can download updates and files. I guess quicker without having to, you know, turn on your PlayStation and find out Call of Duty got a new 300 gigabyte update that you need to download before you can uh, join your friends again in the match. So I guess that's the benefit of that. Enable turning on PlayStation 5 from the network. Enable turning on PlayStation 5 from Spotify. That's cool, but we don't need that option. Set time until controllers turn off. Um. Yeah, 10 minutes, if I ain't doing nothing on controller, go ahead, turn that off, save that battery. Allow cookies, JavaScript, leak cookies. Wait, I was told there's not a web browser, so I don't, I don't know, that's interesting. That's interesting. Storage. I don't have an external storage device, so we are literally just, am I bugging? Why does it say 667? And I'm pretty sure it said 750 on the back of the PlayStation box. This is not one terabyte. Or maybe this is how much I've used so far. No. Okay, okay, so there we go. Reserve for system da whatever. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fight it. That's gay. Uh, I'm not even gonna fight it. PS5 games, no save data, of course. PS4 games, this is everything we imported over. Media gallery, games and apps. Astro Play World. I guess this is something to showcase the PlayStation 5 features along with the uh, controller. We're going to take a look at that later. Extended storage, use a USB device to move your PS4 games there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have an extended storage device you're using a PS4, you can also use it on PS5. So that's, that's pretty cool right there, too. I need to get another one because I got one for Xbox, but I'm one for PlayStation just yet. And uh, the way these game size are, definitely going to need it. So we got sound, input device, microphone or controller. Oh, yes, microphone or controller. I don't even need a mic no more. We got to test that out. How do I use? Let's see. 
testing, testing, testing. Yo, 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 yo. Hmm, that's interesting. I want to know the microphone quality of it. Microphone status when logged in, hell yeah. Microphone status when charting. Okay, okay. Audio output. Okay. It'd be dope if it came through the speakers. Switch audio output automatically. Don't have to worry about that. AV amplifier, headphones, 3D audio. If you got the, I guess, the accessory that they sell. Home screen music, sound effects, audio formats, priority, volume, controller, speaker, headphones. Cool. Screen and video, video output, of course. Uh, if everything about next gen is 4K. Fortunately, I still have a 1080p TV, so I'm not doing that right now. And mine only goes up to 60 hertz. So I'm not really benefiting anything besides just, you know, prettier and visual looking games. But uh, to take advantage of this next gen, you definitely want a 4K TV that supports 120 hertz. And uh, you'll do research on that TV before you buy it. Definitely do that. So automatic. 720p, 1080i, 1080p, then 4K. Uh, it's kind of interesting they don't support 1440p. Not sure why that is, but um, who knows? 4K video transfer rate automatic. Okay, leave that automatic. HDR, of course, mine don't support it. Adjust HDR, deep color output, RGB range, screen, adjust display area, dim screen while inactive. BD, DVD, language, Blu-ray disc, data, allow internet connection for BD Live. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That way, when you insert your Blu-ray disc and it connects to the internet, you can get, like, live, uh, I guess, uh, facts about the movie or whatever you're watching. Accessories, general Bluetooth accessories, wireless controller. That's this right here. Oh, what we find? It. What we find? Oh, I wonder if I can, can, can I connect my AirPods? Let me see. Where, where is my Did somebody steal them? Did somebody stole them. All right, here we go. I got my AirPods first generation. I'm gonna open it up. Turn on the sync mode. Gotta hold it until it's white and flashing. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can find Apple AirPods. Oh, it actually found my Bluetooth speaker. No, that's the speaker I got in the living room. That's interesting. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow. I leave that loud. <laughs> hey, Lumi's AirPods. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this works. Okay. Select. Do you want to register this Bluetooth accessory? Yes. Ah. Oh. Why doesn't it support it? Is that, is that by choice, Sony? Is that by choice? That's unfortunate. Dang. Well, I guess for anybody who was wondering, can you connect your AirPods to the PlayStation 5? The answer is no. Um, so yeah, this is where you go to find other accessories and I guess turn off accessories, turn off Bluetooth. If I turn off Bluetooth, would I turn off the controller? Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, volume, speaker for controller, vibration intensity. Of course, we checked that out already. Trigger intensity, brightness of controller indicators. Okay, let's see. I guess that's light that'll come on the controller during certain games. Communication method. Okay, we're always gonna use Bluetooth because uh, obviously we don't wanna play with the USB controller plugged in all the time. Media remote, we don't have that. Keyboard, if you want, type English. Key repeat, key repeat. I don't know if you can use it for games though, so that's interesting. That is something they're gonna have to uh, actually point out. It's just HD camera, we don't have one, so uh, no point in looking at that. Save data, game app, and storage. So before I actually did the transfer, I backed up all my saves on PlayStation 4 to the cloud. Uh, using PlayStation Plus that actually comes with your subscription. So let's see console storage Cloud storage uh, Wait, I don't I don't think that's what I want to do <laughs> sync save data Well, as you can see, I got 4.6 gigabytes of a uh, cloud storage in there, so I could have downloaded it if I needed to, but I'm not going to like overlap anything, so we're good right there. Game presets. Okay, that's pretty dope. 
Start new games with your preferred settings such as difficulty. Yeah. Don't ask me no more. I always choose on the easiest. <laughs> it's like, nah, that's pretty dope. Start on normal. Out of fact, game default. Performance mode or resolution mode. It's interesting that you would even have to choose. Yeah, we're gonna, I guess it depends on the game. We're gonna have to go game by game. So you don't wanna set that default just yet. First person view, game default, vertical, X, horizontal. Yes, invert, please. Cause I hate doing that every time. Yes, that's how I want it. Up is down, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Third person view. Invert that mug, trucker. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Subtitles, I always love it. On audio language. Same as console, I guess. That's pretty cool. I always love presets. Save me time from doing things manually. Automatic updates, auto download, auto install. That's cool. Save you time. Like I said, spoiler warnings. Warn about game spoilers. Only spoilers and then... Display a spoiler label or hide contents. Why would I want that? Turn that off. The fuck? <laughs> of course, duh. If I'm playing it, so you're gonna pop up spoiler? I don't. I don't know what that's about. Sync with PlayStation Network. Sync your game status and trophies with PlayStation Network. Sure, why not? Let them know we on that P fizzy. Also, I wanna. I'm gonna rename this PlayStation. Where was that at anyway? Let me do that real quick. Cool. So rename my system so I can easily identify that a little better. And uh, let's see where we are right now. Notifications. Check out from PlayStation what's new. Do I do that right now? Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Allow pop-up notifications. Sure. Show preview. Sure. Display time. I guess. From friends go online. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. From games, yeah, I need that. Game invitations, I need that. Trophies, hide during videos. No. No, wait. Always show, yeah, show that, show that. Activity channels, friend requests. Hide during videos, broadcast, yep, you know what I like. Song change, yeah, that sounds good. Hi during broadcast and hi during videos. In fact, hi during games. I don't need to know that. All right, cool. So notifications, just the way I like it. And captures and broadcasts. Captures, shortcut from the create button. Of course, that's still right there on the dual sense for you. Um, press once. Display to create controls. Press and hold. Take a screenshot. Press twice. Save a video clip of your most recent gameplay. And what's the length of that? 30 seconds. Say a good old five minutes. You never know what you was doing in five minutes. So the fact that it can record up to an hour. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Screenshot format. JPEG. PNG. A lot more quality. Video control or video clip format. Most efficient. Most compatible. Most efficient. Most compatible. Include your mic's audio if you want. Include party audio if you want. That's pretty dope. Broadcast video quality. 1080p at 30 frames. 1080p at 60 frames. So that's dope that it can broadcast 1080p. And you damn near don't even need a capture card anymore. Unless you just want the absolute control. Audio. Camera. If you want to include that. Overlays. Chat to speech. Sam, you pretty much got a studio right built into your playstation that's pretty cool save screenshots for trophies yep videos videos cool and that's settings cool so now we are back to the main i guess uh screen of the playstation 5 and let's check out the uh i guess the notification or what happens when you place or press the playstation button on the controller so you're brought here uh whatever this is called i don't know we got to figure out what they call these things so right now uh, I got you. So this is home. Okay, so they call this home, obviously. Uh, switcher. Okay, recent games, Grand Theft Auto, recent swaps, options. So I guess if you want to launch, I guess it's similar to Xbox One. So I think it can do the same thing. We're going to actually test that out too. 
Uh, right now, all we have is Grand Theft Auto 4 or Grand Theft Auto 5 installed. Actually, we have a couple of so them, so we're going to test that out. Notification Center. Uh, you can turn on Do Not Disturb if you want. This is where you see everything that was uh, recently notified for your system. Game base. Huh. Recent parties. Parties you interacted with recently will appear here. Online friends. It's pretty cool. You can see what system they're on. I believe all of these are on PS4. Yep, of course, PS5. That's the logo right there. It's pretty dope. So who are my friends? I got two friends so far on the PS5. Oh, three, four. Okay, we out here. Possibly more. Possibly more. My boys don't sleep. Music, Spotify. It's pretty dope. Built in right there. Does Sony have some type of relate? Of course, Sony. Sony Records. Of course they do. Downloads and uploads. Oh, okay. So something's still going on. It ain't even. It ain't even finished yet. I'm bugging. I guess we just got out of the main menu, but it is still transferring. That's, that's pretty dope. No errors, no uploads, no uploads. Cool, so that's still going on. What else we got in this uh, little guide? Output device. Quick little settings for your audio, I suppose. If you want to just suggest that real quick without having going all the way into settings. Adjust settings for your mic, too. Go ahead and mute that. Yeah, I don't don't need that oh when you turn it on okay so you got a mute button right there and that turns yellow to let you know it's actually muted okay that's dope that is dope <laughs> that's really cool i like that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and just turn that on mute because we don't need that listening all the time for no reason turn off the controller if you want controller settings and same settings we already took a look at this is my profile, of course. Busy with a game of show. Select busy for your status. Online status, busy, appear offline. If you just want to, you know, go hiding from some people. Profile, trophies, switch users, log out. Let's check out my profile, what that looks like on PlayStation 5. Kind of clean. I, I really like the UI look of this. Like, everything's really clean. It's a lot quicker than PlayStation 4. There was a lot of lag that they seem to eliminate or have eliminated. So, uh, that's real good to know. Overview games, friends, shared, online status, edit profile, privacy setting. Whoa, look at them tatas. Not safe for work. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I'm sorry. Blame Ubisoft. Why is that on my profile, yo? Delete that, yo. Yeah. What the? What the? How do I delete this? <laughs> I want to delete it. Alright, well, who knows? Looks like it's just like scarred for life. I'm just scarred for life with that right there. Overview about me. That's my website. That's my social media. Games. Watch Dogs Legions. Dang, I played 30 hours of that so far. Ghost of Tsushima. This is my first platinum trophy. It was crazy. I enjoyed the hell out of that game. And then they went and added more. <laughs> we'll probably get that too. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm like, I didn't even start that up yet. I probably should redeem that right now while I'm talking. Damn. I did the same thing. So let's redeem. Let's, let's actually, yeah, let's check out redeeming codes real quick. Let's see what that looks like. So, of course, we're going to do that from settings. I believe you can do that from the store, but we're just going to do that. I forgot where that was, actually. Subscriptions and something. Hmm. Users and accounts. Payments and subscriptions. Redeem code. Boom. There we go. Don't try to enter this code because obviously it won't work for you. QJ. I appreciate that their codes are a lot smaller than Microsoft's. Like all that typing. Seven, eight, and three. J four J N. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Cross Gen Bundle. Nice. 
So we might even do a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 uh, uh, comparison just to see how much those graphics really improved. I'm down with that. All right, so we're going to download... Uh, I don't need the full game on PlayStation 4, so... Take that out. All right, so the full game is right here. Let's download that. Wait, what? 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 The hell was that? All right. To the game library. We're jumping the gun. Matter of fact, is that everything? All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's do that right now. All right, so game library. Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm so confused. Why would I want to download the beta again? All right, whatever. All right, so this is the full game. PlayStation 5. They should probably do a little better job of cleaning that up. Why Why is this even here? Can I, like, hide that? I have nothing to do with alpha and beta. Obviously, I don't want to see that again. But let's download. Oh, here we go. All right. Select content to play first. Multiplayer, zombies, dead ops. How about campaign? <laughs> Whatever. Install. I heard somewhere where you can actually choose what you want to install too if you don't want to install the entire game. So if you just want to play multiplayer, not worry about the campaign. You shouldn't have to worry about downloading it. But um, that's that's a little that's a little confusing right there. It could be a little bit better. It could definitely be a little bit better. Installed right now. Okay, so the games are coming in. PS4. At least it lets you know what system it is. PS4, PS4. This is PS5. This is obviously PS5. Oh, PlayStation Plus also gives you a bunch of games off bucks. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check it. We're gonna check all that out. All right. So while that's downloading and installed, let's check out what else we got. Let's check out the PlayStation Store. Oh, it's not even like a it's not even like a load. It's just it's literally right there. Okay, that's that's pretty dope. So must see. I guess these are like the launch games. Godfall. Kind of heard iffy things about that. Demon Souls it looks amazing, but I know the game is hard, so I don't know. Spider Man. This is this is what everybody's talking about for obvious reasons. Shout out to Miles Morales. Shout out to him being like you know a black Spider Man. That's that's pretty dope. We got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Valhalla, holla, holla. Huh? Wanna holla, holla? Devil May Cry. Um. I don't really need to replay that, but it's, I guess it's okay that they did it again. Watch Dogs Season, we have that. We're gonna check out the upgrade feature on that. And um, cool, yeah, you know, PlayStation Store, latest. Nicely sorted, PlayStation 5 games, PS4, free to play, VR, we got collections. Subscriptions, the PlayStation Plus collection. Right, this, is, this is new right here. So, new for PlayStation Plus on PS5. Discover a selection of generation-defining PS4 games now included with your membership. Oh, that means I can play Infamous again. Yeah, we, we, we might have to check that out. EA Play. Um, see, Microsoft did the thing and wowed everybody by including this with their Xbox Live subscription. So, for the time being, the better value is on Xbox because this is included with your Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate or just Game Pass. Whereas you have to pay for this separate on top of your PSN subscription. Uh, monthly games. This is this is new right now. Do I have to do I have to redeem these anymore? Or are they just like included? Well, hey, add to my library, I guess. You don't have to download it, but just add it to your library to just say they're giving it out for free. Don't want to miss it. Bug snacks. <laughs> Hitman 3 Deluxe Edition. Oh, they. And they're giving you a discount already. It's not even out. I need to get through Hitman 2 before that comes out. I might be to like the tabs. We're going to do a bunch of live streaming and uh, try to do that right now. But anyway, PlayStation Store built right into the homepage. It's pretty dope. Let's check out the collection. So, all of these games right here, you can download right now. No issue. No problem whatsoever. Let's check it out. We got Crash. Ain't this the new joint? Oh, no, nah, that's something else. God of War included. That's awesome. Fallout, Mortal Kombat, Final Fantasy. I 
might check out what that looks like. Possibly The Last Guardian. I uh, never did get into that. Not sure if I will right now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's interesting. PlayStation hits. Ooh, Resident Evil Seven. I never got a chance to play that, so that's. I love that it's right here. That's that's dope. Man, will we even get through this? That's that's going to be interesting. That's going to be the interesting part right there. I'm I'm over here talking like I got unlimited space. I got to be careful what I download. Uh, Days Gone. I got that. Detroit. We got these games on the disc. Bloodborne. Hard as hell. Second Son. I actually wouldn't mind replaying that. That was a good game right there. That was it. I thought it was more games than this. Huh. Maybe later, but I mean, that's not that's not bad. I guess. That's a lot of games for you to play. All bucks immediately. So yeah, that's the PlayStation Store. Now we got the Explore tab. Um, news. Yeah, I guess this is just see what's going on with the PlayStation Network. What's what? Events, live broadcasts, popular videos of games you follow. Just I guess if you just want to, you know, see something that just happened to land on your screen. Of course, this is the game that's being downloaded right now. Similarly to PlayStation 4, you got your games library. And you'll also have all your games just like right here for quick, easy access as well, too. Why does this need to be a whole nother app? I don't know. PlayStation 4, queued for downloading. Oh, damn, 66% already. That's, that's pretty dope. We're going to check out the game switching and how that works. Discover the... Dang, what to check out? We got a lot of things to check out right now. I guess it's... Uh, while well, everything's downloading in the background, let's check out Astro's Playroom. Let's see exactly how. Is that moving? Cool. See how uh, this next gen works. Cool. So we got some sound coming out from the speakers. That's pretty dope. It's not too loud. It's not too annoying. The haptic feedback is like, it's interesting. Like the vibration just feels nice. Like you don't really know what that means until you got like other technology that uses it. And it feels just like my iPhone. So that's something that uh, I can almost immediately feel. Anyway, anyway, press any button. Let's do that. Cool. That was dope. <laughs> like I'm trying to tell you, you got to feel this controller. That's that's. I think that's the selling point of PlayStation 5 right there, at least versus Xbox One, because um, although they modified it a bit, it's still essentially the same controller, but this this is a whole new controller. The experience was created to show you some of the cool tricks possible with your DualSense wireless controller. Ready to join? Let's dive in. Yes, sir. Oh, was that a PS2? <laughs> PS3? Maybe a PSP. All right, so we got the adaptive or adaptive triggers. Oh, that's so dope. It also knows that the mute button is on on the screen. That, that's great. Oh! This shit, it's dope. All right, so everything I'm doing right now is being replicated. That's really dope. Like, look at the quality of this. Like, this is this is next gen for real. It even knows when I push in diagonally. Damn, I'm getting notifications on my phone. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War ready for play. So as moment the moment it's even installed. You can get a notification on your screen and on your phone using the mobile app. So you don't even have to be home. You might remote tell your PlayStation 5 to install something and you'll get a notification that it's installed before you even get home. Anyway, let's try that out. Oh, shit. Oh, that it's actually hard as fuck to actually press that down. That, <laughs> that 
that is dope. Like they chains. What is this? Like that's awesome. Hey, this is this is dope. Hmm. That's dope. All right, let's keep going. Touchpad. Of course, this is something that came over from uh, the PlayStation 4. So we know how to do that. Let me spell my name real quick. This is Illuminate, and you're watching Disney Channel. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Motion sensor. Okay. Oh, so I didn't even know this was still a part of this. Okay. Dope. Damn, look at this. Look at the quality of this. Like, <laughs> this is really dope. That's what I'm saying. You, sometimes you need a tech demo and a fun tech demo to really let you know, like, hey, this is some new technology. And we're gonna like show you why this is this is this is different and innovative. Look at that. When I beat my hey, anyway, microphone. Of course, this is muted. This is tight. When I blow into the joint paws, um, the controller vibrates. <laughs> that is dope. Hey yo, this this is a hey, this is innovative. I might have to show my man's this. Like this is actually really dope. I think this is something you got to show people in person too. You just can't like. Let them watch a video. Like you just gotta, hey, come over, check out this demo. Like I can't do that with Xbox. You feel me? Like I can only show people that the games look prettier. But this is a, an experience right here, and um, that's pretty cool. All right, we back in the game again. Oh, oh, look at that. That's ah, that's dope. Even the speaker sounds like just properly. The audio level is just so right. Cool. Oh, so how we set the preset? My invert is already here. Look at that. I don't even have to worry about it. So my down is up and my up is down. They didn't even, I didn't even have to do, I didn't have to go to the options. I didn't have to do nothing. It's already here, so that's dope. Just how I like it. All right, so we're learning how to use the left stick. Every footprint I'm feeling as a like, as a reaction to this, uh, I guess the vibration or whatever. At literally everything, you, you feel everything. <laughs> you feel, literally feel everything. That's the crazy part. I wonder how many people are even gonna like spend time to launch this demo to figure out they can do all these things. Hey. Dope. All right. I guess um, it's a good thing I got my mic here so you can kind of hear these things that's just happening off my controller. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey. It just really feels nice. Like, this ain't the same, I guess, vibration you're used to in your controller. Like, it's not, it's not OD overboard. It really just feels placed right. I don't know how many motors are inside this thing, but it just actually feels like it's all over the controller. At least in the center, the middle grip of your, uh, your palm hand. All right, so we're in CPU Plaza. What does this mean? I saw the OG PlayStation come out. Oh. Mm, I just I just took something out. Was I, was I supposed to do that? Mmm, I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Learning Havoc already. We're creating Havoc. I don't know if this is the objective, but we're gonna do it anyway. So there's a lot of things we could do. 
Oh, I guess these are just different demos that we could do. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's check out this OG PlayStation right here. PlayStation Labo. And this is SSD Speedway. Okay, okay. <laughs> so are they about to explain the benefits of the actual technology? Let's check out the PlayStation Labo. Labo. I might turn that off if I just don't want audio coming through the controller all the time, but uh, we'll figure that out. All right, so this is the PlayStation Lab. Okay, this is where important things go on. I came in to wreak havoc. I am boss. B-A-W-S. Is there anything I can do of significance in here? All right, so, oh, damn. Yo, it is kind of hard. Yo, it is amazing how tough it is to pull this trigger. This, and it's just nose, like, that's crazy. Like, it's just that instant. Let me see if I close it. See, if I, the moment I close that, it lets go. There's no tension, there's no nothing. And, boom, just like that, it's activated. That's crazy. I right, so what we doing? Pulling that. What I gotta do? Hold the trigger. I'm confused. All right. Hold the trigger. I got like pump it or something. Oh my God, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Oh, all right. All right, so this this is my controller. This hand is my controller. What am I? Ain't nothing happening. I might have just, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Maybe this game is just too smart for me because I can't figure it out. We, we out of here. When technology defeats human brain. Because I can't figure that one out. The developers, somebody's going to have to explain that one to me. I wish I could fly. All right, so we just checked out the PlayStation Lab. Let's check out the SSD Speedway. Even on a 1080p machine, you could definitely see the differences. It's just it's just certain things you could just see like they improved on, like the lighting. I guess you could probably call that ray tracing. And um, anyway, let's just see what this room entails. They call me Astro, and I came to mess things up. Get out of my way. Oh, wait. I forgot there was actually something called Astro Boy. And there was a game out on PS2, too, that I actually really wanted. I never got a chance to get that joint. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's pull this. All right. Now we're going to... Oh, this is dope. So we're using the motion controller as well as the touchpad. And uh, let's take off. That's, I didn't, it's not what I wanted to do. Anyway. Oh, no, no. Oh, Mayday going down, crash. 
Yeah, that was a bad launch. Let's try that again. Feel me. Do I just let it go? Okay. How do I? How do I fly this motherfucker? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. All right. We're gonna try this one more time. Yeah. I'm not about to lose at every last one of these challenges. Like it's something. Oh, maybe I gotta go high. Okay, I think that makes more sense. Okay. There we go. Aha! The boy ain't dumb after all. What we got next? Another one. I gotta fly through this thing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> that was nice. You actually had to like. Man, look at Cloud's sword. What are we doing? Here? I'm that guy. that cool for a tech demo it's actually pretty fun but you gotta have fun while learning about new technology now this might be a little hard there we go let's try this again all right we gotta navigate we gotta navigate we gotta navigate Mind you, you're doing all of this with the motion. You can't use the analog sticks at all. So you're turning, tilting, doing all of that. Kind of like Warhawk back in the uh, PS3. No, actually, yeah, I think motion, yeah, they call that the six axis. That came out with the PS3. That's when they first introduced that, I believe. All right, we here. We in the building. I guess we're going up the stairs. Interesting. Yeah, that's neat. This could be a real game. <laughs> that's the craziest part. I'm actually having some fun with this. Oh shit, forgot. Can't touch that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait. That ain't just gonna just gonna stop me off like that. I do like the notification of the trophy that I earned being in the top right. I might maybe adjust that because I almost didn't realize that was a trophy, but um, maybe it's just something to get used to. All right, can we make it to the end of this? Zip it up. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. The other way. Oh shit. How I go? Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Again with the motion control. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. <laughs> this is dope. This is real use of physics. Ah, this is crazy. <laughs> I feel like you're kidding it. And that's I feel like like I say that 
to significant or sig- signify the importance of like when you have new technology, it's supposed to feel fun. You're supposed to feel like, yo, know, I've never done nothing like this before. So, um, yeah, that's pretty dope. This is pretty dope right here. Will I do it again? Probably not, but it's just nice to know. You know what I mean? They, they stepped up the bar in some kind of way. Mm, that's that turbo right there. That's that turbo. Oh, shit. I think they bad for my health. Okay, let's not get carried away. Oh, he's trying to shoot me. Oh, what's this? What's this right here? Where am I going? I'm for the land. Hey, it's lit. That was fun. Oh, I forgot he's I forgot he evil for a second. Okay. Nice. Keeping it moving. Oh. Was dangerous. See the way they came at me. Aha! The hang of this. So I guess those red things turning blue can be like seen as check marks or checkpoints. Oh, okay. New use. Blow into it. Uh, that was dope. That was dope. It's interesting to see how and if anyone's going to use any of these features. Of course, Sony, Sony Studios will. I expect it from them, but you know how these third parties be. Ah, Astro down. Astro down. Try that again. I believe we got to get there, but um, we'll find out why. Maybe it's like something we can like collect. More gold coins. You know we love the gold coins. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, that was supposed to happen. New artifact, PlayStation 2, bot. Okay, trophy unlocked. PS2 game disc, blue is, blue is the new black. Yeah, this is early. If you know about the early PS2 game this the back of them joints was blue. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, that's pretty cool right there. Let's uh, continue this um, tech demo slash game demo, I guess. I don't know. I missed all them coins, but it's all good. I ain't broke. Oh, snap. Okay, they could they could have warned me about that one. Looks like I can't even touch that one. Let me see. Might have to do the yeah, light the candle and then we should run. Yeah, y'all move a little too quick for me. I don't know if I can touch y'all or what, but we not just we just not gonna risk it. What you want me to do here? All right, we got a got a little we got a trigger. Hey, that's crazy, yo. Like, you shoot it, and it's like, it's kicking back. The trigger is kicking back like an actual recoil. <laughs> yo, you gotta feel this shit. Like, this is amazing. You just gotta feel it. Like, you just can't hold the trigger. It's actually like kicking back after every shot. That's just something you have to feel. This is, this is amazing. And you can do it for both triggers, too. This is amazing. This is really amazing. I feel like this is something. I don't know if 
people are talking about this. Like this, this demo alone sh shows you the differences. But it, it, again, it really just depends if developers are actually going to spend time to use this feature. How am I get across? Oh, okay. Let's see what innovative feature we can use here. Nothing. You just you just glide over. <laughs> there was nothing innovative about that at all. What's going on here? Okay. So chaotic. I'm here, gang. Obstacle or orbital obstacles, okay. We just uh we're progressing. Let's zip it up. Oh this this fun part again. You know I love this part. Oh shit, alright, wait, wait, wait. Oh whoa. Oh whoa, what happened here? I'm a, I'm underwater. I'm aquatic. Yeah, this is so it's really difficult to navigate this thing while using the, the motion controller for real. That's that's probably the coolest part about this for sure. Ah oh, shit, I saw that coming. I super saw that coming. Cause I looked down at my phone. That's when like no distractions, no distractions. Oh, look at how I just blazed through. I wasn't scared. I just like, I just plowed through it. Oh, 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 oh. I did not even notice the little, ah, ah. Right, you gotta be careful. We cannot run into the. We cannot run into that. It's gonna bump you, and I don't feel like starting over. This is dangerous. Okay, checkpoint right there. So that's good at least. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Ooh, too much. Too much. Too much thrust. Too much thrust. Let's try that again. Hey, yo, this is crazy. Yo, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This is like the mother. Oh, this is a boss fight. Oh, wait, what's going on here? I'm going to do. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to explain that one a little better. Maybe I have to use the weapons. Okay, I have to use its, its weapons on itself. This is like a little boss battle right here. All right, so these little dynamite joints, we gotta ignite it and use it to our advantage. Ah, this is, it's harder than I thought. All right, let's do this again. We can do this. We gotta get. Ah, which guy? I'll be getting too close, young. Like when I need him to fall when I need him to fall and then like fly away when I do him. But I guess that's where the double thrust is coming at. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's two. That's two. Okay. Final one. Alright, there we go. <laughs> this is really this is really cool. I can't lie. That was really dope. I like that. I like that a lot. What do we do here? PS2. Unlocked. Nice. Look at that. That's that's the actual rendition. Like look at that. High quality. That brings back so many memories, young. The year 2000, I was like, I was like, what, 10 years old? That's crazy, yo. Like, if you know, you know. Look at this thing. Like, it's a true gem. PlayStation 2. Man, look at the back of this thing. Yo. Do you remember this thing? The expansion spot? The expansion slot? I'm trying to, like, get this right. 
That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy right there. All right, cool. So that was a nice little level. I don't know if we're going to check out this entire thing, but um, this is something nice to let you know, just the features of uh, the new, uh, I guess, DualSense controller. I do kind of want to take a look at some other things, though, and not spend too much time on this, but uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, circle. Maybe that means level complete out of this world. Okay, cool. So we completed it, but I guess you can always go back and do like speed runs. So that's dope. We're back in the plaza. Looks like we might have at least at least one, two, three, maybe four more. So I'm not gonna do all of these, but uh, CPU jungle. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any more of this at all. So I think that's pretty much the idea of it. See what happens when you press the PlayStation button. Click button. You get a quick. Oh, it lets you know the progress of each room. It's kind of dope. Quick trophies. All right, so let's say I just want to quickly switch games. Right now, we're going to go into, uh, let's say, say Call of Duty. This is the PlayStation 5 title right here. So we're going to play that right now. See how quick it is to just load and just uh, switch games, if anything. I like how it like slow zooms in. I like that a lot. All right, so you got your, you got your intro. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna try switching immediately back to uh, that, that game, just to show the quick resume feature, I suppose, how that really works on PlayStation 5 titles. So we're in the game, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This is the PS5 version. Cool, we in. So we accept things we don't read, because you know that's how we roll, we acknowledge all of that. Graphic content enabled. You know, we love that, do that, turn up brightness just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's me. And this is the, okay, offer redemption, alpha participation. Okay, nice, could be participating in the alpha. So we got the zombies mode. This is what everybody wants to play, of course. Like we're not even gonna we're not even gonna joke. Nat type is open war zone multiplayer campaign, still installing, still installing. Um let me just play some local, something local real quick. How that work? Let's say multiplayer mode real quick. Are you gonna give us gonna give us a trailer? Can I skip this? What happens if I hit this button? Okay, so the still going. Game voice chat, one in voice chat. Who's in voice chat? I shouldn't be in no voice chat. How am I in voice chat? I didn't. Uh, whatever. We're gonna have to. Maybe automatically, it just starts up or whatever. I guess these are different modes that people are playing. So that's that's kind of that's kind of neat, I guess. Six players, about five minutes, about five minutes. Oh no, these are just modes you can play. Just quick access. So jump right into it right there. Let you know how long the mode really is. Lasts about five minutes, up to six players. A new video clip recorded. Awesome. That must have been when we unlocked that. Uh. Yes, sir. That trophy. So recent games, Astro Grand Theft Auto, active right now is Call of Duty. Got some nice notifications. Yo, can we skip that? No, I'm like, what the hell? I'm just trying to play. Welcome to launch. Commit to positivity. Yeah, you already know, no racism. All right, find games, load out. Let's just let's just jump into something like just just jump into it. I forgot this is cross gen, so we can actually play with other people. And look how look how fast that loading was. We are already in the game. Something you just gotta love. I heard the triggers get a little crazy for NBA 2K2. We might have to look at that next. 
I, oh, damn, look. Aiming down my sights. This shit feels nice. It's not just like quick. Damn, yo, this feels nice. This this feels really nice. Not only that, the detail looks amazing, but I'm really loving the feel of this. Especially with the triggers. Okay, hold on. So it didn't transfer over here. My up is up and my down is down. So why did I have to do it here, I wonder? Well, I don't know. Maybe games have to support it. And that's what it sounds like, because that was a Sony game we was assessing out. So, of course, that worked by default versus the, uh... Am I here by myself? Like, they didn't even put, like, bots in this joint. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so that was a screenshot we just did, whatever. Of course, I'm in here by myself. Anyway, I guess the, the objective is to just test out the game switching. So, we're going to go over to Astro's Playroom again. And did we pick up? No. We did not pick up where we left off. You can't do that on PlayStation? Let me find out. Hold on. I right, back to Call of Duty. Don't tell me. Oh, that's pretty whack. Is that an Xbox only feature? Hey. So I don't know if that matters to you, but check out my Xbox walkthrough and you can see like the quick uh, quick switch or quick resume feature that they called. You can just at least up to six, maybe seven games. Like you can just you can just keep switching. You don't have to keep loading, go back to the main screen. That's kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing. All right, so I guess we checked out some PlayStation 5 games at least. Uh, let's see what else we could do. Um, I guess the backwards compatibility is the next thing or the only thing left to do. So, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 takes forever to load. We'll just check out two more things, I suppose. Let's check out GTA and we're going to check out Infamous. So, uh, let's check out, yeah, let's check out Grand Theft Auto, of course. Oh, I do have this on the disc. Speaking of, let's check out what happens when you do put in a disc. Alright, so we're gonna do Watch Dogs because that one actually has an upgrade. And it says upgrade, free of free upgrade available on the cover. So let's try, or well, at least uh let's check out how that is done. Alright, I got my PS4 disc, Watch Dogs Legion. And we're gonna put it inside the PlayStation 5 right now, see what happens. Hopefully I still got free space. Let me check that out first. And I know it was going download brazy for a bit. All right, 236, I believe we can still get it done. Let's see what happens when we insert media. Hold up. Oh, I didn't even notice the media tab. So I guess if you want to know your entertainment, Apple TV, Game On, Pluto TV, Crunchyroll, a whole bunch of apps for you, of course, to choose from. And everybody knows media. We know how this works, so we don't really need to look too much into that. But anyway, back to the games. Watch Dogs Legion, PS4 disc going into PS5 right now. Let's see. What happens? Okay. All right, so we got the disc in the center letting you know something's red. Watch Sox Legion PS4. Full game. Free PS5 upgrade, as you can see right there. Is it automatic or do we have to initiate it? View product. Let's check out the, uh, let's see what happens. PS5 upgrade disc required. It says free. And yeah, let's do that. Be sure to keep your PS4 game disc and entitled to the PS5 upgrade offer. You need to insert whenever you want to play the PS5 version of this game. All right, cool. So just like that, confirm purchase is free because we already own the disc. So unlike Xbox, it's not like an automatic download. I guess in a sense, you're using that to buy the actual who knows i'm not about to explain this just download <laughs> all that all that matters is we got access to it and you're able to download it so right now we're downloading the ps5 version of watch Dogs legion although we inserted the ps4 disc 
So what's actually going on right now? Let's see what happens. Yeah, so I guess it's it's just straight up downloading. Matter of fact, where is the download meter at? Like I know and there we go, right here. Downloads and uploads. Alright, so Resident Evil 3. I'm sorry, Resident Evil 7 is downloading right now. Next up, Infamous, and then after that, Watch Dogs. Let's do Watch Dogs right now because this is a uh, this is I, I guess obviously more recent PlayStation 5 version. Um, did we check out any PS4 games yet? Oh, okay, cool. So I guess while that's downloading, let's see if I can remove the disc and at least play Grand Theft Auto. All right, so if I remove the disc, it's still downloading. Correct. Cool. Perfect. Grand Theft Auto 5 PS4 disc. I heard they're making a PlayStation 5 version too, so hopefully that's a free upgrade. But I'm like, how, pr like how many, like. How many more versions of GTA 5 can we get? Like, we went through an entire console generation with just one version, but um, here we are. We can play the game. There is no upgrade available, so you're absolutely playing backwards compatibility, PlayStation 4, and let's just see how it works. How quick does it load? That'll be a whole nother question too, because we know how long this can take to load up. Damn, story mode loaded pretty fast. Not gonna lie. That was pretty quick. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking it upgraded. I'm not too sure. It looks a little pixelated, so of course that means it's upscale, but um that's interesting. It's just 60 frames per second. That's the only thing I wait, what? Yeah, sure, I guess. I can't tell if the frame rate has improved or not, to be honest. But I mean, hey, Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 4 seems like it's working like a charm. Of course, there's no haptic feedback with the triggers because that wasn't invented when this game came out. If they choose to patch it, that'll be a totally different story. But um, now I mean, everything looks good from what I can see. How do I get my weapon out? Oh, I ain't even got no weapon. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. All right, cool. So, I mean, that's Grand Theft Auto 5, I suppose. On the disc. Work straight like that. Um, What else do we possibly want to see? That See, Watchdog is the only one I got that offers the free upgrade. Ghost of Tsushima. Let's check that out, because I know that one was 30 frames per second, but apparently this one is, uh, at least it's supposed to upgrade it to 60. That's that's the weird thing about backwards compatibility for PS5. It's not like Xbox where everything just like automatically just improved. This one, it seems like it's a hit or miss. Uh, let's check out this infamous, actually. It's, it wasn't even done, my bad. What am I doing? Wait, what's going on? Alright, so that's downloading. We'll just let that download. 
And let's check out the Ghost of Tsushima disc. Hopefully that's already installed. So, I mean, for the most part, backwards compatibility works just like you would expect it to work. I put the disc in, and you better work when I click X, <laughs> for the most part. Added to downloads, queued for copying. Is it? See, this one copied automatically. Why did that happen? Maybe, I guess, when you have two different versions, you have to specify do you want the Watch Dogs or do you want the PS5 version? But this one just went automatically and it's is all it is working in conjunction i don't think so yeah it looks like it kind of just and does and bounces where it wants i said it's watch dog continue to go since that was almost done oh did i hit cancel oh, i'm about to say i was about to cry all right so i guess that's that's that. What else could I possibly show? We did the backwards. We show what happens when we put the disc in. Oh, Spider-Man. Let's see if that one's a, uh, a free upgrade. And then let's check out that NBA 2K21 I had in my library. I want to know why. So this one, let's see. View product. Game of the year edition. I don't know if this had the upgrade. I could have sworn, or maybe I think when you buy the Miles Morales version, you get the upgrade. So I'm not too sure. We're gonna check that out. But I guess if it did, then it would say it. Oh wait, that's not what I want to do. Let's stop doing that. All right, cool. Three minutes left for Watch Dogs. Spider Man is in there. Let's check out this 2K21 because I did have it on PS4, so I wonder did that automatically upgrade to the next gen version let's see all right so i see ps4 full nba 2k21 view product i don't think so ah next generation they want me to buy it so no free upgrade unless you, i believe you bought the kobe version let me see Mm, that's interesting. That is interesting. And it doesn't say it on the box, so I don't think they're giving out free upgrades. That's kind of that's kind of sad and tragic. So no free upgrade for that. No free upgrade for Avengers, I imagine. That's that's cruddy. So I would have to install the PS4 version. That's what you're telling me. I don't even know. Is that the PS4 version? Ninety-nine gigs. It's really hard to tell. And why does it expect me to buy it? That's what I'm saying. You can't really. I don't know. Why would they use the same, same name, same, same cover? At least show the difference somehow, but uh, maybe that's something I'll have to figure out a little later. Um, what else could I possibly show you? So we checked, the, we looked at PS5 games, we looked at the PS4 games, we looked at the games on disc, Watch Dogs Legion. All right, so let's see what happens when you download a PS5 game upgrade and take out the disc. So uh, that'll probably be the last test, and uh, that's your PlayStation 5 complete walkthrough. Cool. So Watch Dogs is ready. Of course. Who the hell is that? Of course. Oh, wait. I wonder. How'd that work? All right, cool. So I got an email transaction. So it was an actual transaction. Watch Dogs leaves in PS4 and PS5. I don't know why it says demo, but um, that's weird. I don't know why it says demo. So what happens when we try to launch the PS5 version without the disc? 
To play this game, insert the disc for PS4 version of this game. After inserting the disc, you'll be returned to the home screen. So it's not going to let you boot. Now let's put the disc inside, see what happens. So of course, how I expect it to happen is just use the PS4 disc for verification or authentication methods or purposes. And then we'll be taken to the PS5 version. And just like that. So will the save carry over as well as the trophies or is this an entirely different version of the game where you have to start over and you got different trophies. Let's check out. Let's check out the trophies immediately, though. We can take a look at that right now. At least Just cross button. I can somewhere. All right, back to the home. Maybe they can make that a little more easier. Click on that. Oh, so it shows you what game version you're actually playing, PS5. But you got to do all of that. Interesting. How do I get to the trophies? Where's where is trophies at? Like, <laughs> where is trophies? Am I bugging? Or is it, I guess, under profiles now? Okay. Oh, Watch Dogs Legion PS4. Watch Dogs Legion PS5. That's interesting. So it looks like you do have separate trophies. So if you were hoping to like maybe continue where you left off, that's not gonna happen. All right, let's verify the save file then. I can instantly notice the frame rate difference because I know on a PS4 version, um, it was like at 30 and um, I could tell this is at least 60 right now. English, English, subtitles, full caption, gameplay events, don't need that. Confirm, brightness, turn that up. Y'all know what we like to do. Matter of fact, we won't do that too high. I did look a little weird when I was in the game. Matter of fact, yeah, just go ahead, just, yeah. Single player difficulty, normal. Matter of fact, we just do easy, permadeath mode. Yeah, we're really starting from the beginning. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is my save file here? Let me make sure I'm not bugging first. That'll probably be the smartest thing to do first. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to navigate. Well, just not used to navigating. Save data. PS5 games. Watch Dogs. PS4 games. Watch Dogs, 1031. Dang, so you really have to start over? What's the purpose of a free why like what's the purpose of a free upgrade if I have to start over? I mean it's nice, but if I bought it on PS4 at the time because it was out first, then you offer the upgrade and I have to start from the beginning and do my trophies over. I'm kinda losing the appeal right there. Yeah, we're gonna skip that. All right, so again, the settings did not apply here. My up is up and my down is down. So this is definitely a developer must support feature, which is kind of, I don't know. We know how that is when you leave things up to other people to support it. So um, yes, yeah, that says what you need to say right there. X, Y, X, Y. Cool. Just how I like it. So, I mean, graphics a little better. It's not like amazingly better, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, there you go. I mean, hey, oh wait, wrong, wrong controller, wrong invert. X, Y, Y. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this one I leave off. That's the one. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's get into it. I mean, it's not the, the prettiest game to show off on PlayStation 5, I guess. Maybe that's why they gave it a free upgrade. Because it's like, yo, if I were to pay $70 for this compared to the PS5 version or... I don't know, maybe just optimize. Surely the first year, any cross-platform games are not taking advantage of the, the hardware. Maybe we got to see like actual PS5 exclusive and not like we're wasting time doing this and PS4. But um, dang, that's disappointing to know. I don't, we might have to test other games. I didn't know you would have to start from the beginning. I think Spider-Man you don't have to, so maybe it's like by studio, but we're gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna have to figure that out. So why am I playing this anyway? That's Watch Dogs on the disc. Okay, you hit the PlayStation button, they don't pause automatically. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I mean, that's everything for the most part. I think I've showed you everything that there is to be, so that's PlayStation 5. Uh, make sure you hit the comments. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, get this video a thumbs up. Drop a like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And check out the Xbox walkthrough just to see what's different if you haven't already. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with checking out both. Catch you all later.